Brain tumors. Brain tumors are classified into intraaxial, extraaxial tumors. Intraaxial tumors include astrocytomas and other tumors arising from the parenchyma of the brain. Extraaxial tumors include meningiomas. Craniopharyngiomas and uh, <clears throat> other tumors arising from structures around the brain but not from the brain parenchyma. Now, intraaxial tumors are the most common and uh, among them the astrocytomas are the most common type of uh, brain tumors and astrocytomas are divided into <clears throat> four histological grades grade one is uh, typified by the pilocytic astrocytoma it is a brain tumor of a low low-grade brain tumor with which is the grade 1 brain tumor it has a cystic component and uh, it has it shows mild enhancement nodular rim enha enhancement also it is present in the posterior fossa commonly and occurs in the pediatric age group commonly. It is a benign tumor and does not show local invasion or distant metastasis. This is the grade 1 astrocytoma. Now the we'll go to grade 2. The grade 2 astrocytoma is characterized by in low, uh, peritumoral infiltration and uh, little bit a uh, few calcification and the border is less well defined than seen in grade 1. Here we see an example of uh, grade 2 astrocytoma showing left frontal hyperintense mass nation with well defined borders and a small cystic area. On the DW image, which is the diffusion weighted image, the tumor is not very conspicuous as T2 effects and diffusion effects cancel each other out. In the ADZ map, the glioma is easily identified as an area of increased diffusivity compared to the normal brain parenchyma. In the histologically there is no evidence of mitosis and uh, the tumor is hypocellular with a few regularly structured vessels. CT shows iso hypodense lesions and MRI shows T1 low signal and T2 spin echo and flare shows high signal as we see here. So this is the WHO grade 2 astrocytoma.
Now we come to the grade 3. The grade 3 astrocytoma is also called the anaplastic astrocytoma. Here we see very strong contrast enhancement and uh, infiltration of the surrounding tissues is extensive. Also, vasogenic edema is very prominent. Histologically, it shows greater cell density, cellular and nuclear polymorphism with mitosis and microfocal necrosis. So this is the grade 3 anaplastic astrocytoma. In this image here, we see a coronal T1 post contrast image of a frontal irregularly enhancing mass with some cystic areas which appears heterogeneous on T2 weighted image so this is the T1 on the left side and T2 on the right side and you can see the T1 contrast uh, <coughs> post contrast image on the left side and uh, heterogeneously appearing T2 weighted image non contrast on the right side the T2 image also shows associated vasogenic edema at the posterior margin of the tumor there is small mass effect and there is midline shift too now the diffusion weighted image and the ADC map appears heterogeneous with cystic areas and more restricted diffusion peripherally. So this is the grade 3 astrocytoma. Next is the grade 4 astrocytoma characterized by glioblastoma multiforme and the characteristic feature is that of uh, macrofocal necrosis increased contrast uptake increased vasogenic edema and uh, it is unmistakable and can be easily diagnosed because of its characteristic feature and should not be missed out. It is also the grade 4 glioblastoma multiforme is the most common primary intracranial tumor in adults.